Hey, welcome back to another video on the channel. My name is Ivan Pashov, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about solar leads on YouTube and Facebook and what the main difference is. There's a lot of misconception on, you know, YouTube and Facebook leads and what you should go for um, if, you know, if you're selling solar. And in this video, I wanna basically give you the, uh, you know, the rundown as to what truly makes those two platforms different in generating solar leads, right? So the first, the first real thing is, is that, you know, you wanna make sure that whether you're generating leads on YouTube or Facebook, or you're paying somebody to generate YouTube or Facebook leads, um, you, wanna, you wanna first have in mind where you're gonna be selling them. Okay, are you selling face to face? Are you selling, uh, you know, on Zoom or, or you know, or uh, you know, or phone sales? You want to know what you need those leads for, right? It really does make a difference. A lot of people say, well, you know, YouTube leads are better than Facebook, and Facebook is, you know, kind of shitty now. So everyone should everyone go uh, go to YouTube. Well, that's like saying, you know. What car, you know, what, what are better, right? SUVs or sports cars? Well, it depends. It depends what you're looking for. So it's the same thing we're looking for. Uh, so it's really the same thing with those two platforms uh, when it comes to generating solar leads. So the main difference is, I believe, is that this is educational marketing, right? YouTube is educational marketing, and this is sort of pattern interrupt marketing, right? So without going into uh, too much detail about it, on YouTube, there's a lot of how-to videos, a lot of tutorials, so on and so forth. And so when a, a video ad pops up, it educates you on, on the subject, right? As opposed to Facebook. Facebook is a lot of pattern interrupt. What do you do when you go to Facebook? You just, you know, most of the time, you're on your phone, you're scrolling, right? fast and unless something really grabs your attention you're probably not going to pay attention to it right so that's where the pattern interrupt uh, 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 you know marketing comes into play it needs to be a flashy image or a flashy video right something that makes you want to stop while scrolling uh, right so uh, that's the again that's the main difference between YouTube and Facebook now when it comes to you know, what the ad really says on YouTube, you're talking about, you know, the incentives of solar, the benefits of solar, you know, what you're gonna be missing out if you don't go solar soon, right? Or before the end of the year or whatever it might be. With Facebook, that sort of stuff wouldn't work. Maybe, you, maybe it would have worked and it probably did, you know, five years ago, but if you're trying to do that, if you try to sort of run the same, you know, content, uh, you know, and, and, and run ads on Facebook with the same content that you would otherwise would on YouTube, you would massively fail. And Facebook will let you know that your ad doesn't work by your increasing your lead cost so much that it doesn't make sense for you to, to run, you know, solar campaigns on Facebook. So... Again, that's sort of like the main difference. This is educational marketing. This is pattern interrupt, sort of like flashy, uh, you know, sort of marketing. Now let's talk about what can be expected when generating leads on Facebook or YouTube. With YouTube, you would expect a lot of more in-market, you know, audience sort of looking, uh, you know, for solar, pricing, more. In other words, the more educated buyer, right? And a lot of you out there are probably, you know, sitting there thinking, well, that sounds like a, a dream buyer to me. Well, again, it really depends because if you're selling face-to-face, -face, that probably is the case. However, if you're selling, you know, from a distance or, you know, or over the phone, that's actually gonna do you a disservice. Why? Because if you're selling over the phone, 
that more educated customer, they've already had quotes, numerous of quotes. They have already sort of know what the price range is. So if you come at them and your pricing is not competitive, then you're most probably going to lose them. So that's the kind of customer that you can expect uh, when generating solar leads on YouTube. If you're, again, face-to-face, -face, if you're selling, if you're doing kitchen table appointments, if you're going face-to-face, -face, YouTube leads are probably going to be a little bit better for you, right? Uh, however, if you're selling over the phone or from a distance, what I've seen in my experience is that YouTube-generated leads are not the right sort of people if you want to maintain high profit margins and you want to sell from a distance, okay? With Facebook, you're going to get people that know very little to nothing about solar. Well, a lot of people say, well, I don't want to, I don't want to speak to somebody who knows nothing about solar, right? They're, they're not going to be interested. Well, here's the thing. With solar, anybody could be your prospect. Anybody could, be your, could potentially become your customer if they own a home and have a decent credit, unless they're buying cash, right? So with solar, the beautiful thing is that, you know, anybody could be your customer. And so if you can attract somebody on Facebook, right? And usually that doesn't happen with, hey, you know, incentives are running out or, you know, go solar for zero down. Like those people, that, that's, that doesn't work uh, with Facebook. And you may be asking why. Reason why is because, in most areas, right, especially in the sunshine states like Florida, Nevada, Arizona, California, and so on and so forth, they've already been beat up with ads for the last four to five years, right? Beat up with ads, same sort of ad, hey, go solar for zero down, free solar, and so on and so forth, right? So that sort of ad, I'm not saying it doesn't work completely, but in my opinion, it will give you a very high cost per lead where it, does, it wouldn't make sense for you to run ads on Facebook. So um, on Facebook, you can, all you need to do is find a homeowner, okay? Homeowner with decent credit that you can sell to, right? And at that point, all you have to do is convince them why they should go solar. So if you're, again, if you're, if you're having Facebook generated leads, you'll be a lot more likely to maintain healthy profit margins if you're selling from a distance or over the phone or Zoom or Google Hangout, whatever, right? So again, with Facebook, you know, if you're looking to sell over the phone, if you're looking to sell from a distance and you want to maintain very, very good profit margins, then I would honestly tell you that this is my platform of choice, okay? Now, if I am to, uh, you know, sell face-to-face, -face, you know, kitchen table appointments, then I would probably go to YouTube, okay? Probably go to YouTube. Not saying that you cannot do, you know, you cannot sell from a distance, you know, with, uh, from, uh, with a YouTube lead, but you have to know that you're probably going to get a little bit more educated buyer on that side. And so, and so the battle on price here it's gonna be a lot more than if, if you're generating that lead from Facebook. So again, to recap this entire video that wasn't that long, um, there's no right or wrong, okay? No right or wrong as to which lead source is better, whether Facebook or YouTube, okay? It really depends on what you're looking to do, how you're looking to sell those leads. Okay, so again, this is educational marketing. This is pattern, pattern interrupt marketing. This is interruption marketing. Okay, so that's why those two are very different. So next time you're thinking whether to go with YouTube or Facebook, you can refer back to this video uh, because it's really important to know how you're looking to sell those deals, right? Again, if you're selling over the phone or from a distance, my personal opinion is that over here with Facebook, you're gonna get a lot more uneducated buyers, right? I like to call them fresh meat, right? Because technically, solar, with solar, anybody could be a buyer. 
if they have a good credit score and they're a homeowner. So with YouTube, I mean, I don't rule them out at all. They're a great source of leads. It really does depend again on how you're selling them. So that, ladies and gents, is going to be a wrap. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like the video, comment on the video, okay? Leave a comment, let me know what you think, okay? I'm going to start putting more videos out, solar related, of course, in 2021. And if you think there's somebody that, that will benefit from, from hearing the content in this video, just share it with a friend in the solar community, okay? And if you have any questions, please let me know. Stay safe, and I'll see you again in the next video.